What's up, Terry? It's Wednesday, the first day of March. I'm Trey. And I'm Chick. And you're watching THS, THS TV. TV. Man, can you believe that it's the first day of March? I can't, man. So uh, how many days until spring break? <laughs> um, You know, four plus three? Oh, seven. Yeah, <laughs> seven, seven, seven. Man, you already know I got the plan for spring break. I'm going to uh, go to the restroom and hop in my bed. <laughs> and you know where I'm going. Uh, downstairs is going to be something to eat. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. <sighs> can we just skip talking about the Potter Puff since the juniors won? Uh, as a senior, I really wish uh, we we won, honestly. <laughs> well, you already know we got to take care of these juniors anyways. It was a <clears throat> legit win. 21-0. Blad was on the sidelines. Let's take a look at the action. Okay, juniors, we'll give you the win. You uh, <clears throat> earned it. <laughs> the pep rally was off the chisel. Long Creech was there and caught some of the highlights. And while we're talking about sports, here's some highlights for the most recent games. The girls' varsity soccer team lost to Victoria West this past Saturday. The girls' JV team also lost to Victoria West 0-1. to The boys' JV red team beat Victoria West 2-1. to The boys' varsity team has won seven games in a row, and they're continuing that on Saturday, beating Victoria West 3-1. to Making key plays were Adrian Vrela, Alejandra Guzman, Ivan Vuela, Jose Rivas, and Ronald Aguilar. Leslie Parada was at the game and took some great shots. Let's take a look. Hey, yo, Ranger, you got Parada, Ranger, bro!
He looks his brother, right? Huh? He looks his brother right there, right? Are you There we go. Softball, the Lady Rangers blew out Royal 16 0. Making key plays in this shutout were Julie Vela, Brandy Juarez, Leanne Ramirez, Alex Howard, and Layla Marroquin. They also blew away A Leaf Elsick 15 0. You can follow the games online live. Check with Coach Mathis to find out how. And they took out Fort Bear Marshall 16 1. In baseball, the boys' varsity team lost a really close one to Pasadena, 9-10. to Man, this past weekend, the teens played in a scrimmage. The sophomores beat Bush Hastings 2-1. to they, they lost to an experienced team from Seco Ranch, 0-20. to Man, the golf team is enjoying the great weather and hitting the links. Let's, here's a quick video from Coach Howard. If you like to go to the games, here's when the next home games are happening. The girls' track team participated in the Bay City Invitational this past weekend. Zari Sams earned first place in the long jump and second in the 100-meter race. Lily Ortega earned third place in the mile and fifth in the 800-meter 18, 18, relay. <laughs> Daniela Gonzalez was fourth in the 3,200-meter race. Congratulations, ladies. You know, I see so many people walking down the hall totally immersed in their phones. Uh, I'm guilty, you know. They don't even know what's going on or happening around them. Some of our publication students noticed this and created a public service announcement for you. Woo! How's class? Yeah. Uh, no, no, what's, uh, how's class? Uh, how's that date the other night? Oh, crap. Um, hey, well, the hell was it? Um, Oh, yeah, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah. That one. Oh, Matrix. Ooh. Wow. Um, art. Art. Oh, man. Who is it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, seatbelt. Seatbelt. Yep, good day, school. Hey man, where do you want to go eat at? Um, um, no, that, that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to drive and you can keep texting. Some of our art students won first place in the visual arts competition. They created beautiful works of art. Taking home medals were Carmen Cruz, Yaliso Escobar, Leslie and Leslie Galdamez and Alejandro Mendez Toy Mola. Zachary Navarro, Mariah Rubacaba, Tanya Sanchez, and Dylan Yanez. Miss Ferrero is one of our Spanish teachers. She always has a smile on her face. We caught up with her last week. I studied Spanish in college because I thought it sounded fun because in high school I'd gone on some mission trips to Latin America and I knew I wanted to teach high school, but I didn't know what I wanted to teach. And so then I thought it would be fun to be bilingual because I liked the culture and the food. Mm -hmm. And then um, after college, I still wasn't sure if I wanted to teach because I didn't want to get my certification because that was more money. So I started, I finally just got it and then got my job at Terry. It was my first job. I've been here nine years. And what's your favorite thing about teaching Spanish class? My favorite thing, the kids, because it's fun. Um, usually, I can come and just hang out and relax and laugh and teach, um, but it's just, teenagers are fun. People think I'm crazy because I like teenagers, but I really do like them. Gracias. 
UIL competition is coming up in April. If you'd like to be a part of any one of our teams, then you need to see the coaches. Ms. Rose is a coach for the spelling team. Ms. Washington is the coach of the reading writing team. Our Ms. Adams is the coach for the journalism team. And Mr. Dickens is the coach for the math team. He meets Wednesday mornings at 745 and after school in room 519. You all have a chance for you to win medals, and it looks good for your transcripts for college. So see and sign up for a team, or see Miss Armendariz. Friends often call each other nicknames. Some are fun, like Sticks, A, B, and Chick, but others can be downright mean and disrespectful. Miss Jones explains to the ladies what are acceptable and what is not. Hi ladies, this is a tip for you. I was asked to give an informative or a positive message to females and what I could really think of is I often see uh, teenagers use the term B-I-T-C-H very loosely like, hey B, how you doing B? That is not a, uh, a word of virtue, a word of class. So what I'm trying to explain to you, that is never a word of endearment. So if you're even trying to use it in, in a positive light, it still comes across negatively. You are a queen, you are a woman of virtue. So do not allow anybody to tell you that you are a bee, or do not tell others, even when you feel as if it is something that is positive, um, that they are a bee. It is never a positive thing to call each other something that is derogatory. If you're looking for some volunteer hours, then consider signing up for this Special Olympics. The last day you can register for Special Olympics would be March 8th. No exceptions. Go to the district's website and register. You can work half a day or full day. See Ms. Worley if you have any questions. It's the first Wednesday of the month, Rangers. That means you will need to give your rider pass to your bus driver. Advisor teachers, please hand those out. If you misplace yours, teachers will be in the cafeteria and on the board, bus porch with new passes. You know, Chick, I love t-shirts. I'm not gonna lie, me too. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably have about a dozen Terry t-shirts and I love every single one of them. See. I don't, I don't do all that, but if you're looking to add to your collection, the Rangerettes are selling some Bose shirts. Those shirts, long sleeves are 20, short sleeves are 15, and you can get your name on the short sleeves for $3. See Miss Wilson or any Rangerette to order. Man, prom tickets are on sale, man. $45 for individuals and 80 for couples. Wow, that uh, sounds very expensive. But there's a payment plan. See Ms. Chavaria to get your ticket and make sure that you're going to prom. <laughs> it's Saturday, April 29th at Safar Tex. That's it for this week, Terry. Oh, but Amon caught up with Darius Allison, a member of the track team. Let's see what Darius has to say. Oh, okay. Hey, B, and I'm here with Darius Allison, the 300 meter hurdler star and the 110 meter hurdler star. So I have a couple questions for you today, Darius. First of all, what are your goals for this upcoming track season? Uh, my goal is to run like the 300 hurdles and 110 hurdles at state and hopefully win and get first. So how long have you been preparing for this track season? Since I was 13. So during this season, um, who do you uh, talk to before your meets to like get you prepared to before you run? I talk to God and my mom and like watch motivational videos to help me out. Yeah. So what music do you like listen to to get you like ready before you meet? Oh, that's easy. It's a straight Kodak all day. Kodak, yeah. All right, so um, do you do any uh, outside of school organizations, clubs that prepare you for this? Yeah, I run for USA Track and Field like in the summer. It's like a summer track program that helps you like get ready for like the school track and we like travel all over the world. So tell me, how does your club organization help you with school? How does it, and how does it differ from the school track? Well, the workouts in the summer are really intense. Like, there's no type of bending over all the time or like huffing and puffing. Like, when you're running out there against like the top athletes in the world, you gotta try your hardest. And then like in school, you can like relax a little bit, but you still can't slack off because you're still trying to make it somewhere in life. Okay, understandable. Do you have any colleges you plan on uh, going to visit about track? Yeah, UT and Texas Tech are looking at me right now. So hopefully if I hit these times this year, I can get my scholarship. All right, well that's all. And my name is Amon Byers again. All right, Terry, that should... No, wait, wait, wait. You, you trying to forget the most important part of the show, dude? What, what what's that? The ch joke. Ah, ah, Please tell ah. me that, please tell me that wasn't the joke. No, that wasn't the joke. Okay, okay, okay. what's the joke, Jake? Okay. What's the, what's the joke? <clears throat> Why are rocks ungrateful? 
I don't know why. Because they take any everything for granted. Ah, granite rocks. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we're out of here, Terry. Remember, Ranger Pride every day, everywhere. Peace.